Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Safa. If you're a returning subscriber, then hello, you already know me. Um, for today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing a kind of glam fox eye look because that has been a really big trend recently and I've seen so many videos on it, so I wanted to give it a go. Um, before we get into it, I've already done a very, very light base using a primer from number seven. This is a skin illuminating primer. Um, I use my All Reliable Clinique anti blemish Solutions foundation in number 03, which is called Fresh Neutral, and I use my Real Techniques sponge to blend that in, so we can just focus on the eye makeup for today's tutorial. So, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to use a bronzer to kind of contour my eyes, that's the first thing that I'm going to do. So, I've got a Clinique bronzer in the shade Sunkissed, and I've got a nice fluffy brush. And I'm going to literally just, like, where you think you would do an eyeliner line, I'm going to just pat on bronzer there, and then I'm going to take it into, like, my brow bone. So it's going to give, like, a kind of arrow shape, like so. So I'm going to just drag this kind of up, and then whatever you, if you make any mistakes, it's fine, because you're probably going to be able to use concealer underneath to really sharpen it up. I know that I'm kind of getting into this tutorial super quick and I know some people do like really big intros but I'm not doing that also this is going to make your eyes really like pop I know that sounds disgusting but like it's going to really make your eyes pop if you have especially if you have like light eyes but even if you have brown eyes this is gonna look really this is gonna really intensify them and that's kind of the point of the fox eye makeup routine because obviously foxes have really bright eyes and they're just like really lifted and this is going to do that to your eyes as well so yeah also if you're a new subscriber you might be from tiktok because i do have some amazing followers on that and i love to see your comments and stuff um so if you're from tiktok definitely leave a comment down below and i'll re reply to it like i always try and reply to my ones on tiktok so i'll try and reply to the ones on here as well um, but yeah, if you're from TikTok, let me know. Oh my god, put your handle on this so I can like, I don't know, just say hi. I'm also going to put a little bit, oh this is a risky thing, I'm going to put a little bit of the bronzer underneath my eyes at the edges. So it's a little bit like, firstly that makes your eyes a little bit bigger. And then also, it's going to hopefully just blend everything. Has anyone else seen that? Um, YouTube video from like four years ago or something of Kylie Jenner's 18th birthday. I think it's her 18th birthday makeup routine. And her makeup artist is like putting the eyeliner here and she's like, I hate the little line. Does anyone else remember that or is that just me? That's so OG if you do. Um, I might also, this like if you're going to nose contour as well, which if you're doing full glam, you probably might as well. Um, nose contour tends to start here. So just make sure that it's like joining. Yeah. So next I'm going to use my Clinique chocolate quad, which I would show you, but all of the quads would fall out. And I'm going to use a light brown. So we're gonna start with the light colours because you know you can add but you can't take it away. Um so I'm gonna start with the lightest brown um to basically go over what I did with the bronzer. Oh my god, to go over what I did with the bronzer. Um and I'm also gonna start like bringing it a little bit towards the center of my eye so that it lifts my eye from the middle so like from the highest point if you know what i mean because you'll notice on celebrities or your favorite youtubers like if they're lifted their eye is like it's it's from the middle it's so that it doesn't droop you know so that's why we're gonna put it there and we're gonna just bring the brown from the outer corner to the crease. I'm doing this in front of my window, by the way. My neighbors keep on going to their windows and it's just like <laughs> staring contest. And now I'm gonna go in with a darker brown and do the exact same thing. And I'm gonna use a more compact brush this time so that like a lot of pigment stays. I might actually end up going in with a black, depending on how smoky we get this. This is like a very like Bella Hadid type, you know eye look because like it obviously depends on your eye shape if this is going to work for you but if you make it really smoky regardless of your eye shape you're basically going to get 
a very similar kind of result especially if you're like contouring your lids like it's so interesting looking at this from two different angles yeah you see it's already kind of lifting and we'll put some concealer here to extra give it that extra pull and then i mean if you wear your hair in like a tight ponytail or something it's gonna also really give them that big lift it's kind of handy if you see my screen yeah but yeah we're gonna use the darkest color to just go over that shading and then use the lighter brown to like blend it as well once you've done that one thing that's gonna really help your eyes get that lift is if you put bronzer at the edges but as you can see i've used bronzer around my temple area to blend the eyeshadow into my face <laughs> so the next thing that we're going to do is i think we're going to go back in now that we've added the bronzer we can see that like maybe we can add a little bit more smokiness and i'm keeping all the eyeshadow you may have noticed to like the outer edge because the fox eye looks to, like to bring it up obviously if you wanted to you can add it more like there if you want but i'm keeping it at the edges for now to just really create that lift so before I go in with any eyeliner, which I haven't used in so long, so that's going to be exciting, I'm going to just add a little bit more of a darker shade, like a, maybe even a black, to like the crease to create a more dramatic lift. So I put black, I used a black eyeshadow to follow the lines that I'd already done, and then I brought it a little bit underneath the edges again. Um, and then soon we will be using a bit of concealer here to help lift. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to go in with a my bag of eyeliners i have so many i'm going to start with this one by make and see how that works um because i have quite a lot of eyeliners and i don't know which one's like the most recent so i think that this is a pretty recent one so i'm gonna what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow the line that i made with the eyeshadow and i'm gonna st like i'm gonna start from the edge and i'm gonna meet it in the like middle of my eye to create my wing start at the outer edge go up and then I will create a line from the center of my eye to meet it and hopefully create that nice foxy pull. So the make eyeliner worked really well and as well as doing my like lines at the side following the contours that we made with the eyeshadow I also added a tiny line like following the shape of my um like upper lid. The lid of my eyeliner has literally just fallen away from me it's gone missing i don't know what to do okay on to the next we're going to use that's so sad a little bit of a dark brown to follow the eyeliner shape that we just made can you tell that i'm sad because i'm really sad okay we're gonna use a dark brown to follow the shape that we made with the eyeliner that's gonna go dry now i've just applied some very um concealer um, to the corners of my eyes and like at the edges to try and lift it so I'm just gonna blend that out also did you just hear that really loud squeaking because that was the sound of a bird almost flying into my window okay that's still looking very bright but I'm about to use a powder I'm going to use an Avon one in the shade fair so just a pale powder um, to cover the concealer and blend everything in and then I might no, I probably won't go off with more bronzer. I'm just going to put a bit of powder on over the concealer to make sure everything's blending nicely. Look at that nice lift that it's already got. Um, and then I will do mascara and or lashes just to the outer edges and you'll see how lifted the cut eye look looks. Okay, so these are the finished like fox eye look. I didn't use mascara, but I did cut a pair of eyelashes as well as eyelashes and stick just a tiny, tiny few eyelashes because I didn't have any like you know those like small inserts um so i could have had kiss lashes in the style pretty um to the like edges to help with the lift and i think that it's really succeeded i think that i'll powder a bit more in the corner because it's so bright and i know that a lot of youtubers love like a really bright inner corner but i'm just not used to it but maybe i'll leave it i'll leave it um but yeah i think that the overall look is very lifted and that is the point with a fox eye look so i'll finish my makeup i'll put a little bit of blusher on i'll go in with my bare minerals blush in the shade rose gold radiance and i will put on my barry m lip liner and then i will be done so i will come back with the finished look in like two seconds so here is the finished look i hope that you like it i added my lip um liner and a bit of blusher and i took my hair out of my plaits 
and I think that the overall folk style look has worked really well. I think that if I was going to do it again, I probably would go a little less heavy with the concealer because this is, I don't really wear makeup to be honest, so I would have to go a lot lighter, but like on camera, I think it looks pretty, this looks natural in compared to like a lot of <laughs> YouTube videos I've seen. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you try it out, let me know. Um, make sure to check out my other socials you might know me from TikTok, so I'll leave everything on the screen anyway. Instagram, TikTok, they're the same handle. Um, and I'll leave like my Twitter and Facebook in the comments as well, even though I feel like maybe people use those less now. Um, but yeah, make sure to say hi, let me know if you've um, tried out this look, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!